What's up guys? I'm Jay Dub and today I want to talk to you about repeater IDs, weather announcements, date and time, uh, announcements for like your repeater club, stuff like that. I've got a really cool setup that works with the RT97S, the Midland MXR10, and the new Redivus RT97L 25 watt repeater. These are all plug and play, pretty simple to do. Um, it also would work with Zello. Um, we have had people try it with uh, All Star. I've heard it works with that. Um, I don't know about Echo Link. I haven't actually heard anyone play with it with Echo Link, but I have heard of All Star. I do know one guy said he got it working with All Star, but it was originally designed for Zello, so you can get out there, hook, you know, plug and play right to your Zello. I've got videos showing how to do it. It is the same setup for the 97S, and the Midland MXR10, and the 97L. They are all the exact same setup. I have complete videos showing you how to set that up. It's super easy to do. Right now we have the Midland MXR10 on the bench, so if you saw my other video you'll know that the uh, RT97L is up on the mountain right now it's you know being worked out um, we're testing the solar on it we're testing how it does how hot it gets I've got a little thermometer that's in there that kind of it keeps a 30-day run and tally of what the inside temperature of the box got I got a few questions on that so I went out and bought one and it should work out pretty well that'll give us some running tallies so I don't have the RT97L hooked up but I do have a video showing the system working time is one 33 p.m. Outdoor temperature 61 degrees. Wind speed 6 miles per hour. Wind chill 61 degrees. <laughs> see there was that video um, at that point we didn't have it working with the RT 97 s or the Midland yet um, we had to go through and change a couple little things on the board so we have the finished product up now when you order it this is what it's gonna look like this is the finished product I believe everything should be the exact same it's gonna come in a really nice you know 3d printed box has screw down tab so you could mount this thing on your wall and screw this board to it um, really nice having the computer access to it because like I said you can hook up announcements um, I've had someone ask me you know, how many announcements can it do it can do as many as your computer can hold if you want it 50 announcements to go off every three minutes it it can do that um, you just have to know how to configure the software to do it like I said I've got videos on that super easy let's get over here to the bench though and I'll show you this whole little setup all right so here's our little setup you can see you got the MXR 10 right here and uh, this is our stand-in for the MXR10. This is our stand-in for the 97S and the 97L. All three of these work on the exact same board. So here's your board. This is the 3D box that you're gonna get. And because someone will ask, the box is three and a half by four and an eighth and inch and three eighths high. So this is your box to take the lid off literally just pull it off it kind of like just snugly fits on there here's what your board will look like you have some switches so you can test different things um, this is your Zello switch if you wanted to cut Zello Ten. off alright so there's one test of the board already working you can see the light comes on when it, the board does test so we're gonna let the board do a beacon you will see a light come on Um, so that is working with that. The software we're running is the WXR player and Simplex version 2.5. I can't read what the, oh, here we go. The Simplex is WXR player V2.22. So there you go. There's the two softwares we're running. It may work with other softwares as long as the software has a COM port function because this whole system runs off COM port. I get that every once in a while, you know, how does it work? Does it work off Vox? No, it does not work off Vox. It's 100% COM port, which means it's all 100% electrically connected. So when it senses, when that board sees an electrical signal, it triggers, you know, the different functions. It doesn't require the a sound card to actually hear anything. Same with the other board. You do have to buy a little sound card. That sound card just 
it, it really just gives you your speaker in speaker out if your computer already has a speaker in speaker out you don't need the sound card keep that in mind if you already have that in your computer most computers don't this is a cheap computer you can get at walmart um they're like 110 dollars, 120 bucks they're really cheap this one has been running non-stop since since 3 4 23 this computer hasn't had a day off it constantly runs something i've got several other projects that it this is kind of my go-to little small computer but this will be your board you'll simply plug it in the only things you have to buy extra would be this cable which is just a USB-C or a USB to serial port and a sound card if you need one. Now, since we do GMRS around here, we can't really show you the GMRS functions of it working with Zello. If I had an amateur radio license, we could hook it up to Zello though and we could play around with it. You will have to take my word on it. It does work. We have several videos showing this exact same setup working and it still works just as good. Take that for what it is worth. There's the beacon. You can hear it. It sounds really good. It's crystal clear. Um, you can set it to be quiet. Um, all that is in the software. I actually have a video on it. Um, I think it's called, you know, how to make your repeater be quiet when not in use or something along those lines. I'll, I'll put a picture of it right here. And uh, that video will actually step you through how to set your repeater up to do that exact same thing. So this is the little board. It has been working great flawlessly now. I've had this one running actually down in my garage for about a month, I guess, and it's done great. Since I've had time, I brought it up here. Forgot to shoot this video for you. Um, I'll put it down below where you can buy this board. You do not buy this board for me. Um, I get that question quite often. I don't make the board. I am a tester for it. I help the guy design them. Um, me and him kind of come up with the circuits and stuff like that and kind of come up with the ideas and kind of work on them together. Um, he's really the mastermind behind it i am more of a tester but i'll put his link down below you just go to his website and you purchase it all from him he does the shipping these boards are built to order so when you order it i think it has like a one week wait time not not a long time but like a one week so that you know it does take him a few minutes there's a lot there's a lot to this little board but there's a lot of functionality and if you have your repeater in a site that has you know wi-fi or you know, you're not running on solar or you're, you know, you've got it to where you can easily access it. Like if you had a repeater in the home, this is a pretty good setup. Like I said, you can change it. You could have, let's say if there was a weather alert, you know, snow visor for your area from this day to this day, you can type that up real quick and boop. Now it'll shoot it out there at the top of the hour for you. These little programs have a lot of functionality, a lot of stuff I haven't even played with yet. Yeah, the thing is just sounding awesome. And uh, like I said, it is working great. But guys, if you like the video out, go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And like always, take someone outdoors. You got you a frog? Oh, oh. where'd he go? I saw him. Oh, right here. Oh, wait. <laughs> here, cup your hands. Now, cover him up, cover him up, cover. Go put him in the woods over there. Somebody steps on him. Oh, yep, there's another one. <laughs> These little toads are everywhere out here. But we're going to go ahead, let her ride around. I'm going to get camp set up. I've got very few dry pieces of wood over here. And well, we're using what little bit we got. So our little guests have finally made it. There's one of them and there's the other one, her first camping trip. It's gonna be a nice evening just to sit back, relax, cook some hot dogs, and just enjoy the time with family.